Next word, I don't know if you, uh, if everyone here has heard of this guy, John McDevitt. You may have seen him in the news recently, but he's uh, coming up next to talk. So, yeah. John McDevitt, everyone. Woo! First of all, I just want to tell you, this is what a community can do. Woo! I went to every government agency, federal, state, for a year and a half. I stood there and I argued my case. And all they did was push it on to another government agency. I was born in an era where we were told that our government was going to protect us. It hasn't. It has failed. I had to go to a community organization to get what was mine. And that is sad. That is a shame. That's an atrocity. And our government should be ashamed of itself. Yeah. But this yeah. is what a community can do. I want to know how many people out here have a debit card? How many people have a credit card? I see more debit cards than credit cards. Well, if you have a debit card, you're going to fall into the same boat I did. You are not protected. Banks don't have to give you back your money. They can investigate and they can sit there and say, we got enough paperwork, sorry. We're not going to help you. If you have a credit card, you're protected. Why? Because banks have a vested interest in that credit card debt. It's their money. But when it comes to your money, they don't care. That's right. And that's what I'm saying. Change. I have a petition over here that we need to enact that our government protects us with a debit card or a credit card. It should not matter. You know, I sit here, and I, I know people are totally shocked about my story. They're, they're like, I can't believe this can happen. But it's true, and it's a shame. You know, I, I, I have a little thing right here. People don't believe me. But here's a letter from the Comptroller of Currency, a U.S. government agency who's out there to protect you, so they say. And here is what they wrote to me um, in September 2011. The so that says your complaint is covered by, by the Electronic Funds so, Transfer yeah, all of it. Um, Regulation E. And so. you recopy me and take. I no, I'm just copy. doing film right now. I mean, I can't get pictures, but I'd rather just get it all on video. As I further read down, video. Um, when a consumer notifies the oh. bank that an <laughs> error has occurred, I'll do it myself. Regulation E requires the bank to properly investigate the alleged error. Then they go on with more and more baloney and whatever. Then you get down here and here. Once the bank has completed its investigation and has advised the customer of its findings, the bank has no further investigatory responsibility. If the consumer subsequently reasserts the same error, regardless of the manner in which it is asserted, when regu while Regulation E requires the bank to investigate your dispute regarding unauthorized transfers, it does not guarantee that the money will be refunded. When a bank authorizes a debit card transaction, it guarantees to the merchant that the item will be paid when presented. The merchants have more rights than you. And banks do not protect you at all. And then here they go, they want to remind me, and already $25,000 in a hole, here is an insult to injury. It is important to understand the difference between debit card transactions and credit card transactions. Thank you very much. It's a little too late now. Credit card transactions are covered by Regulation Z, which provides the consumer some protection in disputes with merchants. Debit card transactions are not covered under Regulation Z, but are covered under Regulation E, which does not offer the same protection. Yet, here we all stand, majority of us have debit cards. Why? Because the system is created so you can't get a credit card to be protected. Make one late payment, your credit card drops down. Make two late payments, they don't want to give you a credit card, but you're better protected under a credit card. Well, I asked them, why is Visa and MasterCard logos on my debit card if I'm not protected? That's right. I, I, that is misadvertisement. That's false. It, it, again, petition to change. America needs to change. 
we sit here and, and, and big government right here prove they protect the banks before they protect you. I thought this was a country for Americans, not for banks, not for financial institutions, right. yeah. not for the 1%. I remind everybody 235 yeah. years plus ago, the 1% fought for the 99%. Today, the 1% fights for the 1%. And that's a shame. But again, this goes to show what a community can do when they come together. Where is my government? Has anyone even come out? I wrote, I wrote to uh, Representative Mr. Hanna complaining about this. Did he respond back to me? No, I got no response back at all. None whatsoever. That's a shame. I just sit there, and uh, every day I just I'm, I'm amazed at the things I see and the things I hear. People walk by, they wonder what's going on. Do they stop and ask what's going on? The things that we do, we're we're here to make a better world for everybody else, and not just for the 99 percent, but for the one percent too. I mean, because this is America. I want to know how many people have been victim to the system. Come on, everybody should be raising their hands. One way or another. One way or another. Yep. Well, I tell you right now, come on, you know, the sad part is come election day, you have nobody to vote for. But they do have that one option. I tell you right now, it's called the write in ballot. We need to start picking our candidates that we want, not what they tell us we want. When you spend $100 million, on a political campaign that could be used to rebuild America, that's a shame. Why are we spending a hundred million dollars for a political campaign? If you want to be president, you pay for it. That's my philosophy. That's all I got to say. Amen. Woo! All right. yeah,